Hi, I'm Liam, a designer and design advocate on the material design team at Google and host of Design Notes. In this video, we're going to create a dark theme for our material study app Reply, which is an email app made for speed and function. We'll learn how to craft the perfect palette and apply it to text, surfaces, and components to make your interface more comfortable and readable in the dark. But before we turn all the lights on Reply, we should understand the app's overall identity and how that fits into its default theme. Reply's brand places emphasis on communication. The app prioritizes functional qualities, favoring ease of use over decorative design elements. For the purpose of creating a dark theme, the most important element of expression is color. Reply's color scheme uses a dark blue-gray primary color paired with an orange-yellow secondary color. Because the secondary color is rarely used, Reply's UI is often monochromatic. This subtle color scheme allows content to be easily read without distraction. The secondary color has an outsized impact wherever it's used, emphasizing critical actions and clearly pronouncing branded moments in the app. Knowing how color relates to Reply's expression of brand and its default theme, we can make informed adjustments to its palette for a usable and expressive dark theme. In Material, color systems are based on tonal palettes. These palettes use your brand colors to create a set of harmonious variants that come together in a comprehensive color system applied across your app, ensuring style and legibility. Here, you can see Reply's custom tonal palettes. When crafting a dark theme with Material, lighter variants are chosen so that your color system can remain expressive and maintain appropriate contrast without causing eye strain. More saturated colors tend to visually vibrate against darker backgrounds, making them harder to read. Lighter tones also provide more flexibility in varying the color of elevated surfaces, which we'll look at shortly. Now that we have a handle on Reply's tonal palettes and the colors we'll be using in our dark theme, it's time to start adjusting color values in our mockup. For this tutorial, I'll be working in Figma. In material dark themes, the bottommost layer of the interface is typically a dark gray with the hex value 121212. Material dark themes don't use pure black backgrounds to avoid perceived smearing or pixel bleed from light text on a very dark background. This slightly reduced contrast makes the interface easier on the eyes. In Reply's monochromatic inbox view, email cards have a slightly lighter color than the background, so we should lend that same treatment to the cards in the dark theme to maintain the inbox's visual hierarchy. We'll select all the email cards and set the fill value to the same dark gray value. Then we'll select the surface overlays for those cards and set them to white with a 2% opacity. Now the surfaces look great, but the text is unreadable, so let's work on text colors next. To understand text colors in dark themes, it's important to understand how color is applied to text in the broader material design system. Material components use the notion of on colors, which are so-called because they're colors that appear on top of components and key surfaces. They use primary, secondary, surface, background, or error colors. On colors are primarily used for text to ensure that it remains legible on these surfaces. The default on colors in material are white and black. Since a black or dark on color wouldn't be suitable against our darkened surfaces, we'll use white. The system for establishing text hierarchy with this on color is simple. High emphasis text is given an opacity of 87%, while medium emphasis text is applied at 60%, and disabled text uses an opacity of 38%. High priority text isn't pure white because, as I mentioned earlier, white would visually vibrate against our dark backgrounds. Additionally, white text against a dark background can harm legibility, since the light from that text appears to bleed or blur against the dark background. Knowing that, let's fix the text colors. First, we need to select all the high emphasis text and set it to white with an 87% opacity. Then we'll select the medium emphasis text and set it to 60%. You might notice this email tile is only comprised of medium emphasis text. This is because the message is read, so Reply de-emphasizes it compared to unread messages. In dark themes built with material, elevated surfaces and components are colored using overlays. The more elevated the surface is, the stronger and brighter the overlay becomes. This is a way of communicating elevation and hierarchy when the background is too dark to reliably portray dark shadows. So let's finish up by adjusting our component surfaces for the fab and the bottom app bar. Just like before, we'll set the base surface to 121212. Then we'll set the surface overlay to white at 12% opacity because the bottom app bar is elevated above the primary content area. Then we'll apply a new color to the fab. For that, we'll go back to the tonal palette and choose the 700 value of Reply's secondary color. For small, high-impact components like the fab, you could choose a more saturated color as long as it retains contrast. 
but for now we'll set the surface to FCC13B. The same bright yellow-orange appears on the corner of selected cards in reply. It's another strongly branded moment, but it doesn't fit cleanly into the UI because it's too strong for the shape it's given. In situations like this, you can take a look at the secondary variant color and work backward to find something that's appropriately expressive without being a distraction. For reply, we'll stick with the normal variant color, FFF5A0. Luckily, the icons in our components are already the right colors, so we don't need to change them. If you want to go even further with your dark theme, you can use custom surface treatments for additional expression or emphasis. As we learned earlier, the floating action button in reply is a highly emphasized component that also represents a strongly branded moment in the app. So we might decide to maintain its color expression in reply's dark theme by using reply's original secondary color. So we'll go back to the fab and make its surface color F9AA33. We might also want to bring back the primary color as a custom surface overlay for the bottom app bar and email cards. So let's make the bottom app bar's overlay 344955 and set the opacity to 48%. For the email cards, we'll do the same thing but with an opacity of 4%. Now we have a beautiful custom dark theme. You can learn more about dark theme at material.io or try a hands-on tutorial at g.co slash codelabs. If you like this video, give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more design tutorials and other videos. Thanks for watching.